This and that Northwest. I was just at a festival and I saw someone with like this magically floating thing. And the way that these work is you just have a string on your finger pretend like it's floating in front of you and you spin it around in circles. Generally, that's what flow is, you're spinning things in circles. This is a staff and I've been trying to get into contact staff. Um, you can spin it around, but basically a lot of the flow toys, they also have them where you could use contact with it, meaning it rolls around your body. There's lots of different kinds of flow toys. People have like fans, hula hooping, staff, boy, boy juggling, rope darts. This is called a levitation wand. It's one of my favorites. I've been at parties where like there's been like balloons and I'll just pick up a balloon and start flowing with a balloon. Like, finish my drink and start doing some cup flow, you know, anything. <laughs> I actually went to a river party and there were some poi there, but I was really interested in spinning staff. So I went into the woods and actually found a pretty straight, large stick, and I just started flowing with that. <laughs> I'm a hoop dancer. I've been hooping for about three years. I absolutely love doing it. It feels really good for your physical self. You work out as well as spiritual needs. It's a moving meditation. I saw it at a festival, saw some girls with the uh, hoops that light up and I thought that was really cool. And I decided to start making my own for a little while and got into hoop dancing myself. And yeah, it's a passion. Online, YouTube. Yeah, I, I learn everything online, uh, self-taught, it's just a hobby. I work for a consulting firm. I sit in, in front of a computer all day long. <laughs> Today, I'm proposing to my girlfriend of nine and a half years. Her name is Amber Reichel. I decided this would be a good spot because it's a beautiful city in the background, and the uh, first day we ever went on was right over here on the hillsides to the right of me. I figured it'd be a good sentimental spot to, to propose. You know, it's been a long time coming, so I want to do something special and something memorable. My fiance is um, currently with his soon to be fiance. They, uh, are spending the day together. Uh, the plan was for them to come up here and go to a bridal store to check out some um, wedding dresses and things of that nature for my wedding and uh, my fiance's. But uh, prior to that, they're gonna get some coffee and stop by here and we'll be waiting for them. I said yes, finally after nine years. Yeah. <laughs>